Hey the comrades, thank you. So today I'd like to talk about prosthetics. And um, I have um, some girls with me today uh, wearing our uh, prosthetic um, shin. Um, over here we have Fortitude, Liberty and Athena. And um, so for the past few years, um, we have been making custom build um, smart dolls for, especially for amputee kids. And so that involves uh, modifying the frame inside, leaving the flash on the vinyl intact. And I wanted to make something that symbolizes um, the strength of a, uh, an amputee. And so I realized that not all amputees um, can wear prosthetics for like various um, reasons. Um, but uh, for those who can, um, I really want to like make something. And um, so this is what we have. This is the um, prosthetic leg. Um, the reason why it's not the whole leg is that um, the shin is the only part that is you know, somewhat easy um, to swap out. And uh, I say somewhat easy, but um, you need like a hairdryer. Um, hot water is going to be quite difficult, but um, yeah, I, I guess you need like um, a hairdryer. All right, so um, before I continue, I'd like to introduce um, Strength Cocoa. Um, of there, she's on the um, the open air ITX PC case bike um, that we announced as April Fools, and um, so it's not an April Fools. So this is a prototype, and we just started working out how to source all the um, fabricating of um, the bike, and um, it, some of it's going to have to be simplified. Um, but um, I'm actually here to talk about um, the prosthetics, and I'll talk about the bike um, another time. So I have Mirai over here waiting in the wings. She's so sweet. Okay. So this is Mirai over here, and um, she's going to have her shin swapped out for one of the uh, prosthetic um, legs over here. Okay. So um, this is um, symmetrical, um, so you can wear it on the left or right. Um, and um, before you proceed, what you need to do is um, you need to um, remove the head. And um, before you do that, you need to apologize to them. Okay, and um, so she's, um, she looks really cool about that. So, um, with all, as with all smart dolls, you grab the head and you twist and pull. Okay, and then you put her in a safe place. Otherwise, um, she'll right roll off the table and um, you know, someone may step on the head and you may hear this like, really loud scream and you won't be able to unhear that scream and um, not pleasant at all, so put it in a safe place. Put her in a safe place. Okay. Um, so pull out the stand over here. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, swap out this shin with her left leg. Okay. So what I do is uh, lift the leg up ever so slightly like so. Okay. And whenever you pull stuff out, um, whether it's a shin, or like a wrist, you kind of like do this a uh, wiggling motion. So you wiggle left and right, and then you pull. So wiggle, 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 and then it comes out just like that. Okay. So I'm going to put the body over here. Uh, got my hair dry over here, and uh, I'm going to pull out the foot like so. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to heat this area over here. So I can force this out, and um, you may be able to like, pull this out without a hairdryer. But what you do is you risk this area over here splitting and cracking, and um, that's not going to be very nice. So you grab a hairdryer and you heat this so that it's soft enough to pull out the frame. So you don't want to heat this part too much. Because if you heat it too much, it may start um, creaking the joint. Um, so, I'm going to start applying heat to the shin over here. Like so. Uh, when you do this, uh, please don't burn yourself. Or any nearby people or pets. So apply some heat and I check to see whether it's um, soft enough. I, I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna pull, pull out the frame, just like that. Okay, 
So you see a little bit of sponge over here. Uh, depending on when you actually bought your smart dog, this may be a bit of rubber, maybe a bit of silicone, um, or it could be a piece of like foam um, like this. But you just like leave that where it is. Okay, now that's done. Um, I need to heat up the, the same area over here at the top of the shin, uh, just to make sure that it's soft enough so I can put in the, the frame. Okay, so this may take, I don't know, maybe a minute or so, depending on how hot your hair dryer is. Ah, make sure your hair dryer is set to warm. Because <laughs> if it's set to cold, then um, you'll be there pretty much all day long and you use up all your electricity so that you won't have any more electricity left to power your Bitcoin mining machine, I mean to power your, your PC. Um, but yeah, you need to um, set it to warm or hot. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, we're done. Okay, in goes the frame, like so. Okay, now it's, uh, it may open up a little bit, so all you need to do is just like hold it closed for a little bit. And maybe, um, has this got a cold setting on it? No, there's no, <laughs> there's no cold setting on it. So I'm just gonna hold that closed until it cools down. So what you do is, um, if you want it to cool down even quicker, um, I could actually take this and run outside, just run around the building a few times um, with your arm out like this. You want to make sure there's like no one around because um, if you run into them like this, then they'll um, you could like injure someone and um, you'll get arrested and um, probably go to jail actually. So not a good idea. Um, you could run with this um, your arm like straight up like so and carry running, but if you come to a bridge you may hit your hand on it and uh, you may break your hand so um, it depends on how low the bridge is so um, or you could just like stand there and um, not risk um, injuring someone or breaking your hand underneath the bridge or getting arrested and it looks like we're done okay we're done okay now I'm going to replace the foot over here just like so so at the moment, um, this is all we have at the moment, which is why in the future, we want to make a prosthetic foot as well to like match this design. Uh, but that's all we have um, right now. And um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it back onto the body. So all you do is, if you have a look in here, you can see the, there's a frame inside, and you wanna get this shaft into that socket over there. So all you need to do is um, insert this into the socket and then um, you wiggle it in left and right like so. And then there's going to be a very dull click. Okay? And then, um, and then that's it really. So let's put back Mirai's head over here. Okay, and there you go. So um, I would suggest um, maybe wearing it with like um, a pair of boots or a pair of shoes or whatever. But yeah, it's um, very simple, and it's you'll be able to like bend the knee just like you can with like a normal um, shin. Like so. Alrighty, that was uh, it. And um, so amputees, they can request us to swap out um, either shin, just let us know which shin they want swapping out and uh, we'll swap it out for free. Um, for folks who are not amputees, who do kind of like, like this um, aesthetic, um, while it's not supposed to symbolize any like cyberpunk type of um, look and feel, uh, people may think that um, it kind of like suits um, the aesthetic of like what they're looking for and um, if that's you you can buy these um, separately and they'll be available soon in the smart dog website. I'm going to put in a stand over here. Oh this is a new stand button. Okay so um, this is um, this going to be sold separately. Um, eventually we want to include this with like all smart dogs uh, but they do take a while to like make and um, if you want to hold off um, it could be another six months, it could be, I don't know how long it's going to take, but um, they're going to come with um, each of the smart dolls. Um, if you can't wait, you can buy them separately. And you can like uh, move this around like so. 
All right. Okay, that's about it. So I'm going to leave you with um, Mirai, Athena, Liberty, Fortitude, and Strength. Okay, that's about it. Bye.